Welcome to our restorative yoga with props class for full body and mind relaxation. I'm Karen Beginski. Thanks for joining me here on your mat today. We're gonna open with cow and cat, move the spine, and then settle into a series of restorative yoga poses with props for complete relaxation. Get the following props and I'll meet you back here on your mat. One flat bolster, two blankets, and two yoga blocks. Let's begin in cow and cat to warm up the spine. Come to table on your mat, planting the hands underneath the shoulders and the knees under the hips. Spread the fingers wide. On an inhale, allow the belly to drop. Glide the shoulder blades onto the back, gaze forward. Exhale, relax the head, upper, middle, and lower spine arches toward the ceiling. Inhale into cow pose. Exhale, arch into cat. Feel yourself begin to take up space here on the mat as you continue, breathing more fully and moving slowly, marking this transition into our practice. Roll out the spine with one more wave of breath. And after you arch the spine, come back into neutral. Come down onto your knees and grab your yoga block because we're transitioning into a supported standing forward bend. Now that you have your block or blocks in hand, place the first block on the lowest height followed by the second block on the tallest height and come to stand right in front of it, feet hip distance, pointing forward with the toes, bend into the knees and begin to lower your head so that the part of the scalp where the hair and the forehead meet touches down to the block. You might need to lower or lift the height of the blocks to make this comfortable for where your body is at today. Once you finally find that space, just a little bit of pressure is on the head. The arms go to hang, holding opposite elbows. Let the spine relax and unfurl toward the floor, bending the knees as much as you need. Perhaps close the eyes here and take generous breaths in and out of the nose. Seeing if you can slow down the exhale longer than the inhale. And feeling that with every exhale, your spine lengthens. The back softens. Beginning to release even more of your body weight toward the floor. Pay attention to any tension in your mouth, your eyes, and relax the face. Take one more full, expansive breath into the back body here. And as you breathe out, let's keep it low to the ground. Release the hands, walk the knees back one at a time. Coming back to sit on the heels or another position if that works for you, let the head and the heart rise. And breathe in and out and notice any feeling or sensation you have here in your chest in your head, maybe a feeling of lightness. Let's move the blocks off to the side and grab your bolster, taking it widthwise across the mat and also a blanket, opening it up to a basic fold. So about the size of your mat across, a thin fold of the blanket, place that at one end and the bolster in the middle. We'll turn around sit on top of the bolster, transitioning into supported bridge with single bolster. Sitting on the edge of the bolster, lower yourself down onto the forearms and then onto the shoulders and the head. 
Arrange the blanket so that it's just underneath the base of the head and not the shoulders. The shoulders are free to go wide onto the mat. Arms open wide into a V with the palms face up. Find the just right position for your feet, moving the feet forward, back, out, in, feeling relaxation in the hip creases. And the low back is safely supported by the bolster. So if you feel any tension here, move around and find that position where there's no pain in the low back. You might choose to apply the eye covering here or simply close your eyes. I'll leave you here in stillness for some time. Just being with your breath. Release any muscle tension you feel in the legs, growing heavier and heavier with each exhale. Feeling yourself received by the floor and the props so that you can relax and let go.
We'll start to transition out of this position. First, just find your feet on the mat, wiggle around. And then push into the feet, begin to engage into the glutes, lift the hips so you can slide the bolster forward toward your knees, toward your heels. Drop your pelvis back down. Relax for a moment. And then let's bring the knees inward toward the chest. Roll to a side. Take your time as you slowly transition up to a seat. Sitting in between the bolster and the blanket, let's take the blanket and fold it up twice more. Till you have a small, thick, double square fold blanket. Turn your bolster lengthwise up the mat, sitting on your right hip to start. So make sure you're on your right hip. We'll come into a supported spinal twist. Allow your legs to come at 45 degrees with the ankles, the top leg stacked on the bottom ankle, and then in that space, you're going to place the blanket. So creating a lot of space for the knees and support for the ankles. Twist your body toward the bolster, hands on either side of the bolster. Take an inhale here, and then exhale lower into the twist, finding the navel diving down toward the bolster. You can spread your arms forward with the palms planted and turn a cheek to the bolster. Either direction, whatever will feel most comfortable for you. Resting here and making any last adjustments so that you feel more supported and more held. I'll keep time for you. Allow the eyes to close. Breathe and be.
On an inhale, start to move into your fingers. Gradually lift the head. Bring the arms back by you, going very slowly. Transition up and out, lifting the chest out of the twist. You can very simply come to the other side, keeping everything as is, but just flipping yourself over. Left hip against the bolster. Blanket between the legs. Hands to either side of the bolster. Lift up and lengthen, twisting through that navel region. Exhale and lower down. Walk your hands forward. Turn the cheek to the bolster and relax. Let go. Nothing left to do but rest. Transition out of this side, slowly and mindfully. Turning and lifting your head, walk your hands back, lift the chest. Turning away from the bolster, let's move the blanket from between the legs off to the side for a moment. Just cross the legs or send them straight. Take a moment to breathe in and out, noticing the sides of your body, the belly and the back, seeing what's arrived here, keeping this relaxation going. Let's transition into a supported seated angle. 
So the blanket that we had into a double square fold, open it up into just a square fold. So unfolding once and place the pointed edge of one of the parts of that blanket to face you, turning around to the bolster, you're going to sit on that blanket so that it feels like the back part of your pelvis is elevated. And as you extend your legs open into a V, there's a natural tipping forward that happens at the pelvis, avoiding rounding at the low back. So lifting up that back edge of the pelvis even more with the blanket if you need. We're just going to tip up the edge of the bolster to face you and rest your head on it. Take your hands to your thighs, palms down. You can experiment here with wider legs. Taking the bolster farther away from you allows you to lower down more. Whatever will feel most supportive for your body right now, without any strain in the legs, any tightness in the thighs or the back. Find your way into the position with a softly rounded spine in the upper back. Close the eyes. Exhale for longer than you inhale, just slowing down the exhale through the nose. You can use the count four on the inhale and six or eight on the exhale. No struggle or strain in the breath. Continue that count, and I'll let you know when it's time to transition. Release the count of the breath. Transition out by bringing the hands to the bolster, supporting it, and then lifting your heart and your head up. Let's take the bolster down widthwise in front of you. Pull the legs in one at a time. Breathe in and out, savoring these transitions.
Reach for your blocks. We are headed into Stonehenge, our final restorative yoga pose. So taking the blocks underneath on the tallest height, the bolster, you'll create the support here for your legs. Then we'll open up the blanket that we were seated on a couple times and place this across the middle of your mat for extra softness. Finally, this last blanket can be turned into a headrest blanket or just double folded if you'd rather not bother with the headrest. If using the headrest, fold the blanket over about a couple inches from the top fold, you will take that back and tuck under, tuck under the outer bottom edges, creating a little nest for your head. Turn around so that your legs are on one side of the bolster ramp or the, the bolster um, support here and hook your knees up on top. Then lower down through the back, resting your head in the cradle of the blanket. Making any last adjustments here so that you feel really supported and relaxed. Opening the arms to a V with the palms up. Place the eye covering now if you like. Or just close the eyes. We'll end here in this position. So use this as your opportunity to fully let go. To save nothing and hold nothing back. To just give in and give over to the props. Let your energy rest until I bring you out.
offering gratitude for your practice and for these moments of relaxation, knowing that they nourish all other pursuits in your life, that this time is essential. Start to move and stretch into toes and fingers. Carefully bend one knee followed by the other in toward your chest. Drop the knees over to one side. It's okay if the props fall. Resting for a moment in a fetal position. Allow this relaxation to permeate the rest of your day. Plant the hands into the floor and lift up. As you come up sideways, move slowly. Form a seated position, simple seated posture, and bring the hands together at the heart. Closing the eyes, if they're not already closed, we honor all the teachers who have come before to bring this practice to us. Relax the hands. Open the eyes. Invite yourself back into the space. Thanks for joining me for this restorative yoga practice. I have a lot more on my channel, so be sure to check all of those out. Give this one a like if you loved it, and subscribe so we can relax again together sometime. I look forward to seeing you then.